Hello everyone, welcome to the virtual world. We are group 2 and below are the team and their roles. Vijay Krishna as a product manager, Pankaj Kumar as a project manager, Mainuddin Azmi as a marketing and communication manager, Aziza as a distribution manager, Aleph Begzot as a pricing manager and we are presenting on Hyundai. We're going to discuss about responsibility of a product manager, strategies to increase sales, evolution strategy, why in China, marketing goals and initiatives, initiatives to develop communication with our customers, distribution channel, growth in China, pricing management. Hello everyone, this is Vijay Krishna and I am the product manager of Hyundai. Now let's discuss about the briefing of product manager. Every product manager is responsible from concept to design, sample production and testing, forecast and cost, mass production and promotion, and he also responsible for implementing marketing activities through research and strategic planning to set the long-term vision and best strategy for our product. As a product manager, it is important to understand that my plan of actions are a central hub within my company for a lot of critical information about the products, markets, competitors, customers, key industry analysts, and many other constituencies. To succeed, I need to gather and analyze data and business intelligence from all of these sources. My strategies for new product launch and sales will be on product design and improving safety measures. The most important factors that customer focus when buying a car is safety, fuel efficiency, and comfort and design. For the last two decades, we are not in the list of top car design models of the year. This year, my main focus is on premium design models. Leading automobiles in United States, United Kingdom, and Saudi are mainly focused in design of cars. Customers in these countries prefer over looks and premium benefits. So, focusing on design as a vital part of a business strategy can lead to more desirable products and can pay off big time. Hyundai designed for 5-seater with standard type. So this time, I have to make a unique premium design and add-on features depending on the latest updates. For example, twin airbags on four sides of the car, which reduces damage percentage drastically. Automatic brake systems when any internal system failure occurs. And alarm alerts and introducing AI system like your personal assistant where you can control your car from your mobile. I believe that all these features with reasonable price will not only increase the sales but also builds brand image in many countries. Thank you so much. Now my project manager will explain his roles and responsibilities. Thank you Mr. Vijay for your contribution and to introduce me. Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. First of all, I want to tell you that I am considering myself in 2002. Please keep in mind that, okay? So, as a project manager, my job is to plan, make strategy, oversee and the document all aspects of the specific project that we are going to work on. I am going to work closely with upper management to make sure that scope and the direction of each project is on schedule as well as other departments for sport. So our company is looking for a new project in new country and for that I have some strategic plans. So first thing we are looking for an emerging market that describes a nation's economy that is progressing towards becoming more advanced usually by means of rapid growth and the industrialization. So my another step is to work according to STP process. Hope you all know that the STP process. So firstly, I'm splitting a market into smaller groups with similar products, needs or identifiable characteristics for the purpose of selecting appropriate target markets. Then targeting means uh, 
our selection of a suitable market segment if we comes to the positioning which means target markets perception of the products key benefits and features we are also looking for the country where the growth of luxury markets increasing rapidly you know what i mean because to sell the vehicles luxury market is necessary to be there and uh, our next plan is advertising campaign as of the all other companies so you know the advertising is necessary so to achieve an objective usually of a large scale over an extended period of time we will often begin with an assessment of the situation to put the plan in context so guys after looking for everything our focus is to enter in china yeah i'm, I'm going to give an answer what why china so why china because now at the international level china's accession to the world trade organization reformulated the way that the country implements tariff regulations and their liberalization measures so here is the first opportunity that we can see now second most important thing is that the wto compelled the chinese central government to lift more than 7000 trade barriers and the pressure for increasing market access for foreign companies as well as equal treatment between foreign and the domestic business what could be better than this hope you all can see that this is the best opportunity that we are going to we are going to face on so it just coming in big opportunity in the name of china and there is a also other big advantage we all know that what china is famous for no no not for corona <laughs> but for the cheap products we can do all our machineries the vehicle parts and to assemble them in a reasonable expenses so we can see this can be a business of invest less on more so that's it from my side now i would like to introduce our marketing and communication manager to discuss further things thank you so much thank you mr pankas hi this is mohyuddin azmi marketing and communication manager of beijing hyundai now i am going to discuss about our strategies and some initiatives to develop communication with our consumers we are the marketing team and trying to create the best way of communication with our customers and find the easy way for the customers to reach our product we have a very diverse team of different cultures and countries we are trying to create the best relation between our suppliers with our subcontractors and dealers we started our journey in china in the year 2002 from that time we developed a lot though we had some bad times in last few years but now we are coming up with new ideas and technologies which will be beneficial both for us and the consumers we established the quality control division and they developed our suppliers distributors dealers and subcontractors as we are in a joint venture and with due respect of our internal factors chinese market factors financial factors and environmental factors our research and development team has decided to work on environmental factors and come up with eco friendly product China is an environmentally polluted country and too much air pollution in some cities. The Wall Street Journal has published a Chinese pollution report in March 2020 where they have shown a dramatic change of air pollution. This significant change has captured by satellite of NASA. This was happened because of coronavirus. While large parts of the China were shut down, most of the mills and factories were closed for several weeks and fewer cars were using as people are staying at home. cause is a huge drop of air pollution like nitrogen dioxide compared to previous years and it is below typical level which we can see from the graph easily so we are going to use the automobile technology for the betterment of our environment we already developed fast mass produce fuel cell vehicle which efficiently reduce the fuel consumption and carbon dioxide emission by 3 to 4% This technology now available in UK and the car name is Nexo. And in our future development many more coming like post hybrid, plug-in hybrid, self-driving and fully electric. We are going to launch fully electric cars as it is totally environment friendly. 
we are going to introduce some user friendly features for our consumers. Nowadays, most people depend on online and from that thought, we created click to buy features. Our click to buy website will make the process of buying a new car very simple and easy. We ask you to open an account to view local prices so you can compare the price, configure your car, apply for finance and pay online. Don't worry, you will only ask for a small amount of information and it will be kept safe. Consumer may think, is my personal data is safe or not? We look after your data and don't pass it to anyone else without your permission. We do have so many offers and vouchers on click to buy website. We'll email our click to buy users with new vouchers and these will also be available to view your account area. Your voucher will be automatically applied once you attempt to purchase or you can redeem your vouchers from your local dealer's point. All our vouchers are also available offline. Just log into your account for get more information. If consumer changes his mind, our customer team is available at any time so you can come and talk to them about the problems. This is how we are thinking to improve our communication with our valid customers. Thank you. Hello. Today, as a distribution manager, I'd like to talk about the distribution system, channels and strategies that Beijing Hyundai uses in Chinese market and why Chinese market is still a promising market to operate for Beijing Hyundai. I'll start with the overall distribution system. Distribution strategy is an important element in the company's marketing strategy that is related with the strategy of prices, product and promotion. The selection of distribution strategy requires the respective knowledge of external conditions as well as internal conditions. The following factors can be included in the analysis of external environment, like target market, competition, economic factors like customs or tax policy, legal factors, technological factors. Uh, in fact, Beijing Hyundai have um, has been operating in Chinese market for over 18 years and over these years it managed to establish strong relations with local subcontractors that resulted in competitive advantage over other local automobile makers and cost reductions and quality improvements at the same time. As a regional contractor, Beijing Hyundai uh, focuses on locally sourced suppliers and subcontractors, subcontracting approximately 90% of work. Beijing Hyundai subcontracts such parts as engine, manual transmission, car seats, air conditioning units and other parts. And compared with initial entry, it now 90% uh, of parts outsourced in China, which is really uh, resulting cost savings. Such enhanced integrated supply chain management also resulted for Beijing Hyundai in reduced real costs of products, less waste and better underlying value. Coming to distribution channels, Beijing Hyundai uh, had, uh, has adopted forest shops model in order to increase control over the sales and not to separate after sales service from sales. Uh, this system, in fact, contributed to building brand image and attracting customers and effective control over sales. Photoshop's model is a large dealer shop uh, uh, that operates in a timely manner as a function of sales, service, spare parts and survey. And uh, Beijing Hyundai um, uses this model in um, core city expansion growth like Beijing, Nanjing, Guangzhou and Fuzhou. And these cities serve as a centerpiece of regional promotion, dealer education, and logistics control. And now, Beijing Hyundai tries to enter lower-level income areas cautiously, waiting for possible growth opportunities. And uh, it always tries to increase the number of dealers and tries to select them very carefully and provide them systematic education and training with a special emphasis on advertisement and sales promotion. Beijing Hyundai focuses more on dealers' past experience rather than financial resources. And uh, one of the strategies that uh, Beijing Hyundai uses with its local suppliers, it gives incentives to them, which increases their loyalty and stress in sales network. Uh, among the strategies that uh, Beijing Hyundai uses with 
with its local suppliers, I can highlight that it provides a lot of support and assistance to local suppliers, such as technical and managerial training, tries to share as much of the information possible and encourage them to promptly respond to Beijing Hyundai needs. Lastly, but not least, the Beijing Hyundai also holds annual meetings with local suppliers and more regular monthly meetings for core part suppliers, which is all done to maintain harmonious relationships with local suppliers, and this eventually results in competitive advantage and cost savings. Hello everyone, my name is Bigzot Aliyev and I am a price manager of Hyundai Motor Company. As my colleague said before, Hyundai is one of the biggest and recognizable companies in the world, especially in China. There was a big success and losses also, but now I am going to discuss some strategies which we are going to use to improve our Chinese market. Hyundai Motor is planning a bigger push into mid-sized sedans in China, reflecting a shift in sales strategy as a South Korea's largest car maker looks to longer term growth in the world's largest car market. As a part of our global brand strategy, we want to focus more on the mid-sized sedan segment this year. It is time to strengthen our brand's premium image in China to pave the way for our long-term growth there. Hyundai is the fourth largest seller in China competitive car market. In spite of its late entry in 2002, thanks to the popularity of its Elantra compact car, the Elantra accounted for one third of Hyundai's Chinese sales last year helped by Beijing's tax breaks for purchase of small cars. Last year, more than half of Hyundai's 700,000 unit sales in China came from compact cars with engines of 1 to 0.6 liters or below. Uh, but Beijing's move to raise purchases taxes on compact cars to 10% in this year from 5% in 2009 is expected to hit sales in this segment. Hyundai and its affiliate Kia Motors is aiming to boost sales in the mid-sized sedan segment to 35% this year, up from 25% in 2010. Targeting that segment is a good strategy because everyone in China needs to upgrade their bicycle. In the past, that size car was viewed as a business bicycle, but in the future, it will be seen as a family car. But other foreign car makers are strong in the mid-level segment and it's increasingly a battleground for Chinese manufacturers. Traditionally, traditionally strong in a smaller cars and eager to move up market in search of higher margins, the higher you go, the more demanding the consumers are. Nothing that Hyundai will have to work hard to improve perceptions of its brand. The car maker sells nine different cars in China. It plans to introduce its new Sonata mid-sized sedan in the first half of the year, while Kia is set to launch the Ki5 mid-range sedan. And that's all I wanted to tell you about the Hyundai and its price management. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, Bo. Again, hello everyone. I just want to say something to finish our presentation. You know, there are a lot of bad reasons to start a company, but there is only one good legitimate reason and I think you know what it is, is to change the world. Thank you.